So, next game coming up uh, in uh, in two minutes is... Um, Czech. Czeske Budacovice. Ah, right. We had that last year. No, I no, know. I cannot do it. <laughs> Against Firenze, the men. Oh, the poor Italian guys uh, starting that early in the morning. The poor Italian. And what about the poor Czechs? They also early in the morning. Yeah, but for 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 the Italians without a good coffee, it's a, it's a <laughs> bad start. So uh, I think the the Czech guys uh, are more up to it, and they bet more used to the weather. Um, I think uh, getting up for the Italians and. Um, uh, seeing this foggy, grey, humid weather, cold weather here in Berlin, um, it's quite hard for them to start the day um, and expecting having a hard fight. They need the sun and coffee. Yeah, they need sun. Most of us do, but they need it most of all. Um, all right, everybody, we have uh, still 57 left. people in the uh, live chat. Um, please watch uh, and check out our Facebook site. It's uh, Facebook uh, slash Champions Cup uh, um, on Facebook. We're and updating pictures all day from the pool, yeah. from all the important moments and everything that it's happening before and after the games outside the pool. And uh, uh, it's great atmosphere here. So many sportlers coming and going, and uh, they're very. And we will uh, nice. talk to our uh, uh, camera team if they we can get a little bit more um, views from uh, the surface cameras, um, so you get an um, impression of the atmosphere. But also check, like I said, uh, our Facebook site. Uh, if I is doing a lot of pictures and posting them online, so you get a feeling and uh, you can tag people um, and open up. Uh, a little bit more for the community. So, as you can see, probably we got uh, uh, brand new, <laughs> brand new shirts from uh, the Colombian uh, Orcas. Uh, thank you, Sylvia. Maybe you're not watching right now, but uh, thank you very much. For thank the you. Present. They have very nice uh, shirts. Uh, yes, yeah, Wasabro. A uh, little bit of color here in the quiet gray <laughs> surrounding. <laughs> yes, the bag is also nice. No, can you? No. So, uh, oh, look, give it to me. This is from the Master Cup, right? It was at the beginning. I, I will show it in the next chance. The Master Cup, and it was the original t shirt. So, here we can see uh, the next uh, York brought it to us. And uh, this is from 96, and this is when Duisburg used to house it. And, and if ah, you yeah, think that's a long time ago, we talked about that uh, last year. Uh, Jörg is quite... Ah, put it, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So we're decorating our wall there to make it have some homey touches, because here is a little... Yeah. Jörg uh, played uh, <laughs> in the beginning of Underwater Rugby in these old times, when they had uh, swords, uh, <laughs> helmets and fought well against each know, other in the water. Funny enough, at that time there would be eight players. Now we have six. Yeah. And, you know, in Colombia they haven't even tournaments where they do three versus three. So, uh, do you need help here? And um, so maybe the, the uh, development of, of, of rugby is either, you know, have a little less player because we are seeing so well. much uh, intensity in some of the games, the top teams you have the feeling have 10 people on the water it, it looks like even like the pool is too small for them yeah yeah so maybe and with the open is too, you know we with draw the speed play. and uh, these uh, the development of the fins like uh, uh, fiberglass Thank fins you, we we might see uh, um, uh, another change in the future of underwater rugby um, I think our sport is still under development and yes. and it's still a young sport um, with uh, some 40, 50 years of history, so there is uh, a lot of future for us ahead, and uh, there's a lot of happening in countries like Turkey and Colombia, uh, where new teams are just uh, popping up like mushrooms. And uh, like I said, uh, Tarkan yesterday showed me the rooster of his um, club, of his uh, teams. And there are many uh, U15, U18, U21 teams, boys and girls, 
and uh, they are strong and they are coming. So we are here in the second team of the day. It's the Czech uh, uh, team against Italy. The Czech are in what blue. What would you say? Do you have and a guess who is can white. win today? Pardon me? Would you, do you have a, a, a bet who is going to win between this game, the Czech um, and the... I, I think the Czech team is, is going to win this game not not as not as much that I know all the the the, the players and the teams, but I think. Um, well, Fidenza is one of those teams that uh, they have better players. years and and, 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 yeah. and and less good years. And now we have the Czech and right under the goalie with the hand. He was almost pushing without the ball, so it was a little bit of uh, almost like a fault there. So, but but I think the beginning of the game is uh, is what it will be for the rest uh, of the 20 minutes. We have uh, the Czech Republic pushing hard on the basket um, of Firenze and they're coming in from the closed and the open side. Uh now we have the attacker right under the goalie and the defender is trying to catch the ball and successfully take the ball away from the attacker and is trying to see a partner to pass but they are too far away and he just lost the ball again. It's so important that when you know recover the ball in a situation like that, uh, one just you know, try to, to, to intercept the pass so you can swim away because otherwise the next that happens is a score because you can't recover, you can't recover um, because uh, Firenze is not such an experienced um, well, team. If well, that's, that's not, not that exactly true, I think. They have a no, lot of experience. No, yeah, but uh, they have a lot of experience. They have been playing for a long time rugby, but uh, they uh, still... Um, it depends with Firenze. It depends who is in the team, who is playing, and yeah. um, um, they they are really uh, uh, like Italians are uh, uh, bound by their family life, and uh, you cannot say who will be um, in the team to play uh, at the Champions Cup. Well, well but the, the same the same uh, is true in for in Czech. So let's the last go third back of in the, the game. of the of the. Um, Finally so Firenze is now uh, attacking the uh, Czech uh, basket, um, but they lost the ball, and um, the Czech are now building up uh, their momentum to go in direction of uh, the Italian basket again, and they're in the middle of the pool, and uh, the, the forging defense broke down in the middle, and the Czechs are now already at the basket of Firenze and they are coming from the close side, the ball is at the close side from the corner and there's uh, al almost almost uh, every time wait a, a player from the Czech Republic waiting on the open side and the other side at the wall and they are pushing now um, into the game, into the basket of Italy now it's getting on, there's uh, this the big player who scored the, the first um, the first game, big. well, <laughs> called from the referee, um, I think it looks like a warning from the referee, That's free, free throw, throw against, against Italy. Italy. So um, Firenze, is, is the Italians are doing good, but uh, they are under pressure and uh, the Czechs are in, in, uh, in controlling the game Defined most of the time. I mean they're dominating, they yeah. have 80% of ball possession and they're passing the ball around in Italy, yeah. haven't found a way to really break that uh, from the Czech team. But um, right now what they're fighting on top of the basket and we cannot see much but the ball just fell, the, the goalkeeper swarmed to take it away and the defender didn't intercept the pass. So Checks recovered the ball right now, and it's having a attack or almost and had a and, uh, the first the wave the of attack. The Czechs are not really disturbed by the playing of uh, uh Firenze, no. of Firenze, and even if Firenze uh, tries to break free with the ball, they are stopped immediately, and yeah, the, the ball is taken away from them. And then uh, and the Czechs go in their routine, uh, attacking from the close side of the wall and going in uh, over the basket to the player waiting on the on the open side. Um, now we see Firenze trying to break free in the middle of the pool, but uh, they don't succeed in entering the half of the checks. Yeah, they, d they cannot leave their half. I mean, yeah. they just barely make it over the third meters line away from the goal. Um, the checks are coming also quite um, quite 
um, without a lot of uh, effort, they can get through the goalie. They are all the time on top of the goalie. I mean, there's no much interception from, from Firenze. It's like the attackers are not forechecking, very aggressive. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's difficult if you're always under pressure and always swimming behind uh, the ball and you're not able to, to find your own rhythm. Call from a referee again. There is one referee on the surface. Free throw against Italy. What was I didn't see? Yeah, the it looks like the fall. It was the they they just made it over the half and now they have a free throw against them. Yeah, it's it's uh, well the 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 checks are um, it's it's not the beauty of underwater rugby but they uh, it's it's a good standard they're playing and they play tough they know how to play tough. Um, the check, you mean? Yeah, the check. Yeah. And uh, Firenze too, but nevertheless. Um well, you know, Firenze Italy is now in the Three Nation League, and they're trying to improve their sport. Uh, um, and let's see. I mean, they, they started last year. This is the second year uh, that they are doing it, I believe. And hopefully, that ha will help them to improve the rugby in Italy, Switzerland, and Spain. Call from the referee again. Free throw uh, against the check. There will be a chance now um, for Firenze to to uh, cool down a little bit and build up their own attack pattern. Um, let's see, but but most of the time uh, the Czechs are succeed quite fast to disturb everything the the Italians um, build up here. And um, yeah, like this, they they have to be faster. They have to be more uh, yeah, to player static. stations to to pass to. And uh, it, it's quite easy for the Czechs to interrupt the game of Firenze here. Yeah, the Italians are not moving fast enough with or without the ball. They are, you know, and that, that's the problem. I mean, they, they need to move and swim so a little bit more and they are not doing it. This here we go. Uh, they try to get closer and closer to the Czech basket. And, uh, but without the re really a plan. And yeah, yeah it, it looks like let, let's go there, think about it later. <laughs> and uh, before they s even start to think, they lost the ball. And now we are here in the counter-attack um, from the Czechs uh, in direction again, in the half of uh, the Italian team. And uh, already a Czech player took over the defense under the basket. Uh, from Italy and we have now the attack from the close side from the corner um, that's that standard procedure what we see from the Czechs and uh, they're quite confident um, going in uh yeah I mean they have a, a Firenze is in their group C together with Bamberg uh, Czeske Budetjovice and, and them so the next team um, the next match was um they had it yesterday, uh, already against Bamberg, so it's the second match. And it's not also a, an easy one for them. They don't have many chances in this group. And now they're fighting again. The goalkeeper just stole the ball from the attacker and is trying to get free. But he's under attack from two, two players, yeah, and he had yeah. no station to, to play to. Uh, not yeah, a call from the referee. You know, that's hard. I mean, when, when you, you get... As a goalie, you achieve to defend and, and get the ball and try to, to swim away and have no one really where you can post the ball. It's quite frustrating. Yeah, but, but this uh, free throw will give them uh, a little break uh, to, to, to take their take a breath. Free throw and they're still in the middle. I mean, they cannot pass by. Yeah, it's that's like a wall. Yeah, that it's just uh, um, they, they, they cannot swim free and open up the space yeah. to build to 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 play their own game then they should play a little bit closer enough and move uh, more ah, that that that's just static yeah, that's yeah. static so and and these passes uh, these far away passes um, it's you cannot it's do it we can i mean uh, with with someone like like the check i mean they know what what they're doing yeah it's easy for the check to get out of the defense and interrupt the passes um, from I mean, we, we are saying that the top teams uh, you know uh, the, the direction of the rugby is just constantly swimming and moving with and without the ball and the moment we see this kind of more static game uh, it's, uh, you see that uh, the, 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 the more static the team is the less ac success in, you know, in achieving and, and goals and winning or doing uh, anything here we go again from the close side and it's, it's standard procedure we see from uh, the Czechs 
and they do it quite well and uh, not in a hurry. They come from uh, from the middle and uh, give the ball left and right and, and um, first attack from the close side of the wall and then go in on the basket and uh, score from the close side or pass on to the open side. So we have here in the um, in the live chat uh, interesting thoughts uh, what will be with underwater rugby in 10 years and I think this is what um, uh, we all should do who think about our sport and want to improve our sport um, don't think about uh, the immediate problem but think about what we want to have in the future what we uh, see in underwater rugby and what we see 10 years from now what could happen and where we want to be what do we want our sport to develop to and um, there's a, a lot of possibilities and we see other sports that uh, developed and uh, became as as it is called right now professional uh, which means people who do the sport professionally earn money um, I think my personal opinion is underwater rugby is not ready yet for uh, money inflow um, to players um, because we're still a growing community and we need uh, this community feeling um, to, to, to build, to grow. And if it money is involved, uh, a lot of it changes. Because, uh, we don't have the critical mass uh, for that, I guess. We still need uh, and to and have a, a growing... Um and we don't have the structure, because who gets the money? Where is the money to? And uh, what we see happen in other sports, um, if there is money and uh, successful teams, uh, earn a lot of money, they can buy the uh, good players and then we have this elite uh, thing, uh, we are not, I, th I think, then, uh, it's yeah, my opinion, we are we not ready team. for that. We need to build up more teams uh, and have more competition. So we still need, we need to grow and uh, if you look at uh, um, uh, Turkey or Colombia where young new players uh, come who grow up with underwater rugby. For them it's a world, they don't uh, uh, think uh, of underwater rugby as a sport that is developing. It's their sport. They are, they are living it. And this is what we need, uh, the next generation who don't grow up uh, thinking about uh, uh, which uh, organization is supporting them. They, they live underwater rugby and uh, they will build their own structure. And I think 10 years from now, um, we will have a, a different uh, environment for underwater rugby and there will be a big push from Turkey and Colombia uh, in this new pride underwater rugby yeah, future. Yeah, the new nations coming up with the sport. They yeah. are, I, I hope they're bringing more movement into the structures that we have in Europe that have been like a bit static in the last couple of years. So, second half here uh, from uh, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin the biggest tournament in underwater rugby in the world and uh, this is the second half Czech Republic against Italy and uh, the Czechs are already leading 2-0 against Italy but uh, Italy hasn't given up um, now they try to break free through into the defense of uh, the Czech Republic from the close side but uh, it's it happens very fast they are in the their attack is interrupted and uh, they, they cannot find their rhythm. No, no, uh, no. They are still just fighting in a one-on-one -on -one basic. And that what I'm missing by the Italians is the team game. They are not finding themselves into water. And that's what they cannot, you know, achieve um, a lot more than what they are doing. Right now, they are at least um, doing a little bit of an, an attack. Uh, and they are moving between the three and five meters line away from the Czech uh, goalie. But, uh, and they had a little bit more structure, that we have one of the Italians on the open side, right underneath the back of the Czech goalie, but the ball is not coming to him. There is still, the Czechs def um, are defending very good and keeping the Italians at a distance, and we have the Italian attacker right on top of the goalie, but the goalie is keeping him away uh, with the uh, legs and the fins, and now we have a counter-attack from the Czech. And there it is, I mean, we have a double pass, and uh, now we have one check again, three Italians, and th the rest of the team is arriving, and uh, he's successfully managed to pass the ball to another mate, and they're just playing over the close corner. 
And there, what do you mean? You know, you don't have that kind of tactic fr from the Italian. The Italian uh, was more broken, and uh, they're trying to score from the close side. We cannot see much, but the Italians recover and they're counterattack. And, and um, it takes a little bit too long, and we have already taken to position and tackle uh, the Italian away. So, mm, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> we, we, s we see this, we saw this a lot in the first half. Uh, but Italy is playing a bit better than yeah, before. They, 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 they woke up and they are, they are right under the basket uh, of the Czech Republic. They, they, this could be a chance to score. But um, why didn't that player attack? Do it yourself, do it, did it himself. He was right under the goalie this in chances. the middle of the uh, basket. And he, he, was, he would have been able to push up the goalie yes, and, and score himself. and he just won by and passed yeah. the ball. I mean, this is th when you have chances like that, they don't repeat themselves. So that's where the ball has to be inside the basket. I think individually the, the Italians are fighting quite well, but as a team they don't function together. They they lacking the the, the push the um, the push you get from a good team playing good together. No yes, like they don't know where I mean if if you have the top teams and, and the, they know exactly where the, 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 the teammates are and how they're going to move and where they're going towards with direction so this and is another Italians chance for them more uh, spontaneously. yeah it takes yeah. them too long it takes always a little bit too long uh, for their attack to building up to be a real danger uh, for but they're attacking more in fierce now look they are coming under the goalie and the Czechs are not succeeding to defense really like they were doing before there's more chaos uh, around the the goal the, the basket of the Czechs Mm, it was a little bit more risky. Th yeah, th that's the first time that I yes. see the Czechs a little bit under, st under stress. Yeah, and for some minutes now we had uh, um, Italy uh, fighting around the basket of the Czechs, trying to break open, to, to pray, or pray open the defense of the Czechs. And they were close to the basket, but they didn't succeed to push up the, uh, the goalkeeper. And the defense was always ready there to take away the ball. And now we are back again here in the half of Firenze and the Czechs are building up their uh, attack pattern um, but now Firenze seems yeah, now I mean it's much better game than the first to half to and the first wake up. Yeah. of the second time I mean now I'm uh, it's like Firenze is finding themselves uh, a little bit more uh, I mean great well I, I love when when the team build up within a game and and because that yeah, doesn't they happen get very they gain often momentum. They get yes, yes yes most of the time they are losing uh, then the mental strength to keep but up with the fight sometimes is not there. Yeah, but but you see uh, the Czechs are not probably not throwing in everything they have. They are uh, uh, conserving their energy for the upcoming games and try just to stay um, in in the corner. Um, and now attacking we have two Czechs against chance. the Italian goalie and is it holding himself into the basket? I don't know, it well looks a I little bit weird. But um, now uh, the Czechs are on the three meters semicircle around the goalie, passing the ball, taking a chill. They, they don't want to risk. I mean, no. what I see right now, they don't want to risk. They are uh, keeping uh, their but attack they're looking constant, for opportunities. but, not, yeah. but not, they're not risking to lose the ball because they saw that Italy still has power, they still want to fight, it still wants to score. And they don't want to have that threat that they just had. I mean, they don't need that kind. <laughs> yeah, the, as long as they are in ball control, uh, they can play with uh, five players um, and uh, wait oh, for a chance. That's pushing without ball against uh, yeah, the goalie definitely of Italy. Yeah, from the open side, one of the big Czech players was pushing. No, ah, it's against. Uh, yeah, one yeah. of the players from Czech Republic was pushing the goalie without ball from the open side. It was. Uh, clear visible so it's a free throw against the Czech and, and Republic. And that goal doesn't count and that's a timeout. Yeah, I think it will be timeout for Firenze because now they are uh, in advantage of having a free throw. They should uh, stick their heads together and just organize. I think, I, think I mean they still have uh, almost five minutes to go so probably they saw that now they found themselves a little bit more in the game and they're trying pro I mean they, they at least to you know to score one or two goals and see if they get I don't think it's possible for them to win this game but uh, well if they mm. I, well, I don't think they might do 
two no, more goals. Well, I don't well, think so because it's still the Czechs are never dominating. Never say never. Um, no, I think it's difficult. Doesn't look because even if they found themselves and they recover and they are playing a bit more together, the Czechs they're still dominating. Yeah, and the way the the game is developing, uh, the Italians are gaining a little bit more momentum and um, putting a little bit more pressure on the Czechs. Um, in, in certain moments of the game, but um, most of the time uh, the game is controlled by the uh, Czech players who are quite relaxed, I think. So here we are, free throw for Italy. They uh, try to break into the half of uh, the Czech Republic, but it's the, the, the they it takes them too long to get rid of the ball and they are searching for their uh, teammates to pass the ball and before they could pass they are stopped by the check and we have a cluster on the surface but still uh, Italy is in ball control and coming in right high uh, on the close side to the to the basket of the Czech Republic and they didn't succeed still in ball control Italy is still in ball control and another attack uh, one player is trying to but look, they're putting the checks under stress uh, much more. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. the first half they didn't. I don't think that they reached the uh, the, the, the check, the the yeah. check side. Call from the referee in the surface. We this have a cluster there. Um, free throw against the check. Two and a half throw. minutes to go. And well, I think r right now uh, the way the the game develops. Italy should be able to score. We have one Italian player stealing away the basket uh, from the Italians, call from the referee. Um, there was a, a attack on the head, again a free throw against uh, the Czechs. And uh, there is a little bit of chaos now on the surface, a lot of players on the surface. And this is probably the last chance for uh, Italy um, at least to score one goal. But uh, there was a pass un intercepted by the Czechs and now and they're, they're going contact. for a counter-attack. Well, but Firenze at least is doing the four check in the middle of the pool and the Czechs don't come through like they did before where they almost had not stopped mm. until they reached the defender on the Italian line. Probably would have been a different game if we've seen uh, Firenze this, this awake, this, this awake <laughs> and concentrated from the beginning. Um, but uh, it's like we said, it's early in the morning and uh, you, you have to wake up, go in the game. And this is what happens. The checks were, were more concentrated. So another attack uh, attempt uh, from the Italians. Um, but we have a... A fight on the surface and the checks recover uh, the ball. They have 50 seconds left, and they're trying to you know stay in control of the ball and don't risk it because Italy has really achieved to uh, attack and create some chaos and almost a score. So uh, we have one of the checks on top of the goalie, and uh, if he gets the ball, it's going to be another score. Yes. Here it is. There was um, they 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 played cool three zero and they look for their opportunities and stealing away the basket of the the other team and just waiting. There is an easy way to uh, to score without much fighting. So twelve seconds left. Ten. I think that's. Uh, uh, you see it's still a 2-0, but it's a 3-0. But three zero. Is fighting, they want to score, I mean, at all. I think they should, they, they earned it, but uh, it didn't yeah. happen. And it, it, they had their chances, but not. they didn't. Uh, they woke up too late on the game, sadly enough, because if they would have put yeah. up that fight uh, earlier, maybe, maybe um, they would have scored at least once. I think uh, the Czechs would have won regardless. But yes. um, so now we have the girls, the up. Black Mermaids from Sweden against Barcelona. Barcelona has been put in quite a fight, um, so I'm really, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, again, we have Sweden you against Spain. You don't know Spain. what to tell me. I mean, what would be my best? You bit? always know what to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> S 
So, um, yeah, we have a... Anything, I mean, you know, all things...